It's the Mountain Country Athlete of the Week, brought to you by Sheath Underwear. And this week, it's CSU Pueblo men's basketball starting guard, David Simmental. David, thank you for being with us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. I appreciate your time, really. Hey, prolific scorer, and I wanted to talk to you first off about that game, uh, 28 points against Adams State. Talk to us a little bit about that. What was working for you guys? Well, I, I think I think we played well as a team, and we were we were just aggressive all together. We moved the ball really well, and we just found the open guy. And um, I think we did a great job there, and we also did a better job on our defensive end, rebounding, and things like that. So it was just a good win for us. Big win. Now you had 28. So were you happy with your performance? I'm just happy as long as we win. Um, if it's 28 or two, I don't. I mean, I just really want to win and just do whatever I can to help the team. Now I know that uh, you led the team last year in scoring. And this year you're there near the top or at the top. But uh, do you think, does this team look to you to be, you know, take the brunt of the scoring load? Um, not, not really. I think everybody can score. Um, it, it just so happened that that night I had it going. Um, but we got a lot of guys who could be aggressive. Uh, Trey can score. Uh, Leon, Tristan. Um, I mean, anybody that's on the floor has the ability to score a lot. So we really just play as a team. Speaking of that. How is the team this year? How can you guys do? I, I think we're, we're, we can continue to get better. Uh, we obviously started off a little rough, but um, every day we're just getting a little bit better, a little bit better. And uh, we're obviously very young, brand new team. I think we only got four returners or three. Um, so we're still all learning each other. Um, I mean, this is a lot of guys' first year. Well, pretty much everyone's first year together. So um, we're just getting better. We just keep getting better. Yeah. I wanted to ask you now, you were uh, all RMAC second team last year. Can you do that again this year? Or are you looking to, to improve on that? Do better? I'm always looking to improve. Um, I always want to do better. I'm never too worried about, you know, I have my own personal goals, but ultimately we just want to win as a team and let that stuff take care of itself. You led the conference in free throw shooting uh, over 88%. Is that something you take great pride in? I'm always making sure I'm practicing my free throws. I mean, it's an it's a easy shot. It's free. So I want to definitely take advantage of it. That's why they call it free, right? Exactly. A <laughs> uh, couple more questions for you. The um, Pueblo West High School uh, set all kinds of records there. Let Back in 2016, you're what? Pre Colorado Prep Player of the Year. So congratulations on that. Thank you. But uh, state title. Tell me kind of a, long, a roundabout way, but how did you wind up there at, at CSU Pueblo? Well, I went to a Division II in Montana. Um, I ended up getting hurt and uh, medical red shirt. Um, things just didn't go well. The coaches left. So um, I ended up deciding to go to a junior college. Um, played well there and then had uh, some options. And uh, CSUP was one of the ones that uh, was looking at me. And I felt that it was time that I could come back home and, and why not play for uh, CSU Pueblo. You happy? Did it work out all right for you? Yeah, I love being home. Yeah, it's great playing for my hometown. And I just love Pueblo. So it was great to try to represent. Mm -hmm. How difficult has it been to stay focused during this bizarre year? It's definitely been challenging. I think we've had a couple postponed games. You know, those, it's just like uh, mentally draining a little bit. You're all ready to go, and then they just tell you right when we're about to leave, hey, game's done. Um, but, we, you know, you just got to stay positive, um, optimistic, and just we're just very grateful for anything we do get. Um, you know, we're, we're getting to practice, even if that's it. And, you know, there's a lot of teams and different sports who didn't even get that this uh, win, uh, fall. So we're just very grateful. Final question, really. Uh, success on the basketball court. Uh, you've had a lot of that. If you could explain a little bit, kind of a tough question, but just what has basketball meant for you? Well, I, I think it's taught me about pretty much about life. Um, you face adversity, good times, bad times in basketball. And it's just going to be like that in life when, we get a real, when I get a real job or different things like that. And I think it's taught me to persevere. Um, continue to work hard and uh, just chase my dreams. You bet. Hey, we'll keep it going, David. We sure appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. We'll keep an eye on you. Okay, rest All of right. the way. That's David Simmental. And chances are, David, will keep the hot hand going as the Thunderwolves move into the bulk of the season. Guy Gerton, the sports guy for Mountain Country Sports.